updates you. This is Will from Will Development. This is my 249th weekly update. I'm going to make this one very quick and concise because I am very tired. And I'll explain that in just a minute. Training this week overall went well. And let me just put this out there. It's a good thing I'm training for Strongman because I did some Strongman shit yesterday. But we'll start from the beginning. Saturday went very well. I've discussed it before, but specificity is the name of the game when it comes to prepping for this comp, so the further away from the comp I am, the less specific I am to the implements I'm going to be using. With that in mind, I am pressing twice a week still. One of the weeks I am practicing my clean and press, the other week I'm just practicing. I'm also doing a push press on those days. I am practicing a strict press on my Monday, or sorry, Tuesday press day. The idea being that that will act as a, what's the word? Accessory sort of movement to the push press. Whereas normally I would train them the opposite, but seeing as how I will be push pressing in the comp, I want to get the practice in now, 12-ish weeks out, so that's what we're doing. Saturday I did that. Monday was squats, Monday went quite well with the squats, still practicing the zergers. I believe about six to four to six weeks out, maybe even eight, I'm gonna actually start practicing the zercher with the implements as well as the squat with the yoke. I'm going to be actually practicing the event, so to speak. Weights are not gonna be event weights, especially on that squat, just because. Uh, the zercher might be, I actually was informed the other day that it turns out we may have actually already done the Zercher walk with <laughs> close to comp weight, if not over it, which I didn't realize, but we shall see. Wednesday, day off. Thursday, I was feeling nasty and have been planning on pouring a patio in my backyard for the longest time, basically since I moved in to this house, so going on two years, and I finally set out the plot. I had a fire pit I built maybe a year ago. No, I don't even think it's been that long. I think it's about six months ago I built this fire pit and I set up the frame around the pit and I knew it was going to be a lot of work but I did it and it was about a hundred, not about, it was 117 80 pound bags of concrete which for those of you counting and don't feel like doing your own math that is 9,360 pounds of concrete that I poured into a mixing machine and then carried over a wheelbarrow at a time and poured into this big pit. I was up at 4.30, I started actually working on the project around 5.30 after some little miscellaneous prep work, getting all the equipment together, yada yada. And then I finished, I was inside and done at around 7.30 on Thursday, which was yesterday. So it was a very, very long day filled with lots of lifting and lots of heavy work. The sun in Florida is very unforgiving, and I actually had to stop in the middle. I was going pretty good from 4 till right around 12.30 when I was just like, I have to stop because I might die out here because that sun is just angry and mean, especially around noon. But, got it done with a little help from my friends. Uh, one of my friends and my girlfriend ended up sort of pitching in here and there, just taking care of some little miscellaneous things. Unfortunately, neither one of them was strong enough to actually load the bag, so I still had to do that. Which did leave me with a little something here. Let's see if I can get a decent shot of that. My arm is all torn up here. And uh, I've got some little concrete bits growing in me right now. They'll pop out eventually, but that's from holding the bag like this to pour it into the machine. Tough work, I tell you. Tough work. Uh, mild fear that this won't be totally healed by uh, by Monday, which will make Zercher squats uh, pretty damn painful. More painful than they already are, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky. Tomorrow I have another press day, 
and I'm actually having a little shindig here at my my house, which is part of the reason why I had to get that stupid patio done, because I promised everybody the patio would be done by this weekend, so I had to get it done Thursday, we got it done. Not proud of it at all, because I stopped in the middle and didn't have an actual break point. It looks like shit, it looks like part was poured and then a part was poured second. It looks really bad. I'm gonna fix it later, and then I'll post some pictures to my social medias. That way everybody can see what I'm looking at, you know, what I'm talking about. That's probably gonna be like two or three months later from now, so don't hold your breath for it, but when you see it, you'll see it. I'm so not proud of the work I did, I didn't even sign it. I sign all the work I do, whether it's with my logo for On My Stones, or the tables that I make, I sign the bottom of them with a date, you know, stamp it in there and I actually etch it into the concrete, that way you know you can see it, and not etching, etching is a technical term, uh, carve it into the wet concrete, because you know I have pride in my work. Uh, not proud of this right now, but when it's done, then I'll sign my name somewhere on it, so you know, I can actually be proud of that. I'm harshest critic, but it, it really does look like shit in my opinion. But it's done, and it is a patio you can walk on and fall on without, you know, worrying about breaking it. So, I call that a net win for now, and I'll fix it later. That's a different story. If anybody has questions about that, leave a comment, and I can explain what went wrong and what I need to fix and how I'm going to fix it. Other than that, I'll do the editing for my World's Strongest Man video tomorrow, or probably Sunday, because I'll be doing nothing but vegetating on Sunday. And thanks for watching. Forgot to mention that because I did that to myself yesterday, deadlifts today were just dog shit. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. They were just awful. It is what it is. I didn't know if they'd be awful or not. I actually felt kind of okay today. The soreness and the actual pain from all the work yesterday hadn't quite set in yet. It basically has now. Um, my left bicep has been flexed since yesterday right at the end of the day we were working and I just kind of felt it sort of flex itself and it's been sort of stuck there ever since it doesn't feel like it can relax um, I dropped seven pounds yesterday in just water weight mostly I was about 202 pounds Thursday morning and then by 7 p.m. I was on 196, which I haven't been below 200 in probably a couple of years. So, you know, needless to say, I, I drank an entire gallon of water today and peed once. So I was very dehydrated, and I, I believe I still am, and I, I'm probably going to get some more water in before I go to bed. Just wanted to add that little tidbit in. But the lesson to be learned here is you don't know if you can until you actually try. So. I had a feeling I would go in there and attempt to do my lifts and it would be rough, but I didn't know. So I went in anyway, gave it a shot, and lo and behold, yes, it was rough, but I tried. And I went out there, and that's the moral of the story this week. Don't just assume you can't, at least give it a shot first. And even if you fail, you still got more information. So if something like this ever happens again in my life, which I can pretty much guarantee it won't, but if it does, I now know, you know what, just stay away from the gym. Let's just do some body weight stuff, maybe even some stretching, mobility work, whatever, if we have to. So give it a try. At least that much. And if you don't, then what's your excuse?